Welcome back, Foxies. It's time to learn about your superpowers. Yes, you have superpowers. You have Foxy superpowers. Why? Because it's much more fun to think of yourself as a superhero in your own movie. I like to do that. You see, the world that we live in has a lot of challenges. And I like to think of them as challenges, not problems. The stage that we've been set upon is this place with this human condition. You see, there was this guy named Buddha many, many thousands of years ago. He told us three really important things. One thing he said was, life is suffering. No matter what, we come into this life, we experience suffering on various levels. Some of us come into situations that are just really, really challenging. Others of us may have a nice family, but we all come upon situations in this life that are very, very challenging and we experience pain on many levels. These superpowers are a way, they're your tools to combat these energies that we come across. So this human condition comes with all of these thoughts that are just in our collective energetic field, this collective consciousness. One of those powerful thought energies is simply not enough. So how often do you ever come upon this feeling of, in a moment, like, oh, it's just, just, just not enough of this or I need more, or it's not good enough. This is not something that's personal. This is something that we all, as human beings, we experience this, we experience this itching inside of, like there's not enough. Or sometimes it's come across as impatience. And the way that we can battle this is we can create an energy to neutralize that. As human beings, we're evolving into a consciousness of the heart. And from this place, we can create a frequency. We can create an energy that neutralizes what we might be feeling. We can generate the frequency of feelings that we want to feel. So when you're feeling not enough, or you're feeling like a victim of circumstance, like, oh, poor me, you generate this feeling of gratitude. So your first Foxy superpower is gratitude. Gratitude is a super powerful practice. It comes from many, many traditions. And one powerful way to do this is simply in that moment, you just generate that feeling. So you bring yourself to your heart. When you notice, I'm feeling not enough, or I'm feeling like a victim here, I'm feeling impatient, bring yourself to your heart. Breathe into the feeling. Breathe deep into the body. It helps to move the body as well, to move that energy out. So you can do a little movement in your body, and then just exhale, visualize the feeling, visualize it as black smoke, just feel it relieving the body. And bring yourself to your heart center, breathe in the heart and out the heart. Breathe in the heart and out the heart. Activate this center. You can think of it as like your Care Bear Center. All the Care Bears had these superpowers. They could all generate a feeling from their heart. We have this ability. So you generate the feeling of gratitude. You start thinking in the moment all the things that you're grateful for. Even down to the minute, I'm thankful that I have two legs to walk upon. I'm thankful that I can breathe this fresh air in this moment. I'm thankful that I was able to wake up next to my partner in bed this morning to share coffee with my partner. I'm thankful that I have this child. I'm thankful that I have all these things. Think about all of the things in your life that you have that so many others may not have. Place yourself in this position and feel it, breathe it in. Bring yourself to the point of your heart cracking. Feel and visualize a crack in your heart and allow yourself to just really overwhelm your feelings of gratitude in your entire being. One other way you can activate this is as you're laying in bed at night. Very powerful practice. As you're falling asleep, your head's on your pillow. Just think about five to 10 things in your entire day that you're grateful for. Whatever they may be, things that you've accomplished, things that you experienced. This, as you go to bed, it's the last thing that you remember. You go to bed feeling grateful for all that you have in your life. And when you wake up in the morning, name three to five things. I'm grateful for X, Y, and Z. When you start generating that feeling of gratitude in your life, your life will shift dramatically because so much more gratitude and abundance and prosperity will flow into your life. 
Because like we learned, you're like a magnet. You attract what you emit. What you send out into the world is what you bring in. The giving and the receiving is the same thing. So activate your superpowers. I'll see you in the next lesson. Namaste. Gratitude, superpower.